This video's modification is the turn-in concepts cowl stays or fender support braces that are under the uh, front fenders. We're going to do an installation video on how to do these on a wagon, so stay tuned. So in order to change the uh, fender cowl supports, you have to take the wheel off, you have to take the inner fender part way down, not all the way, so we'll take the wheel off. So once you've got your wheel off, obviously I have the car on jack stands and that's why the car is supported. Uh, got mud flaps up front. Modded to fit. Take these two screws out here. So no rocks fall out. Probably need a flat blade screwdriver to start kind of popping some of these. Bounce out depending on they've been placed with. bolt right here. This is as far as you need to take your inner fender liner now. So once you get all of your retaining clips taken out, you just kind of pull this forward. Inside the car, pull that clip off there, and you just put it forward right out of the way. And now you can start working on your cowl and fender brace that's right up in here. You see it? Mm -hmm. There are four bolts. One here and one on top, and then one over here and one on top. It's 14 millimeters. This is going to be your best friend right here. Box end wrench open end combo. Ratcheting definitely helps. You'll find when you're putting the uh, top bolt back in on the turning concepts, you'll need to open wrench, open end wrench. So you may have to take some patience with getting these undone. And you definitely shouldn't have to take the fenders loose to get these, at least the turning concept ones. stock bracket removed. Here's the factory WRX support. This is just a stamped piece of uh, 
sheet metal here. It's got some flex to it. And we're going to put the turn-in concept one, which is aluminum. It's welded. The uh, square stock is hollow. New brackets get installed with this end towards the fender and this end towards the cowl. Pretty much I just uh, get everything in place and just kind of make sure you're definitely not, you're getting good contact with your threads. Make sure they, they spin freely. I start with that bottom one there. And the bottom one over here. So just make sure that you're going finger tight. I don't, I'm sure there's probably a torque spec for these, but since you really can't get a torque wrench in here, I would just uh, make sure they're good and tight. I'm just kind of alternating between them as you're tightening them down. There you have it. You've installed the turn-in concept fender cowl supports without having to uh, loosen the fender and move it all. Uh, your mileage may vary. You may find you may not have clearance, but generally speaking, the sedan fenders are a lot more clearanced because of the flares than the wagon ones. But as you can see, I did the wagon one without having to move the fender at all with just a open end box or uh, box end open end wrench combo with ratcheting. So put your liner back in, your clips, bolt your wheel back on, do the other side, and you're done. Thanks for watching.